All right, what it <clears throat> All right, what is going on guys? So it is Wednesday morning. Happy hump day to you all. I am freshly rested. I actually took a rest day yesterday that I normally wouldn't um, so that I would feel really good today because I have an AMRAP on deadlifts. So I've been working, kind of accommodating the intensity slowly up in the last like three to four weeks with my deadlifts at 365. And then today I'm scheduled for an AMRAP at 365 and I'm gonna shoot for between eight to 10 reps. So I've been able to hit, I think the first week I did a top set of five, and this is all beltless at 365. And then the sec, the second week, I did two sets of f three reps at 365. Or actually, I did three reps and then four reps for my second set. And then the following week, I hit two sets of four at 365. And now, since I've kind of accommodated the intensity up, I'm going to do an AM rep to kind of test that strength. So. After this, I'm going to then be putting on a belt and, and working more belt work with the belt on. Um, but I wanted to kind of start this out without belt, without a belt. I can't even talk right now. Without a belt and then see how things go accordingly from that once I do add it back in. Same thing with the squats as you guys saw. No belt, no sleeves, and no Olympic shoes. So I'm going to slowly add those back in as well. But notice a lot of progression. I'm excited to add those back in because when I do add those back in, it's going to be another way to overload. And I'm going to be feeling a lot stronger. And I already feel strong now, so I'm very excited for this. See you guys at the gym. Alrighty guys, so just getting started on the deadlift warm up here. If you're interested to see what my normal warm up is, you can check out my last video, the last day in the life. Um, I go into it pretty in depth, so um, I did that same warm up before I get started here, starting out with 135 on the bar, and yeah, just really getting things warmed up, getting the form down, getting those motor patterns down, those activation cues that I think about, and really the main things that I'm thinking about on deadlift are going to be pushing into the ground with my heels and just my feet in general pushing away as I'm pulling so kind of creating those opposite forces pulling with my hands obviously um, tight as I can on the bar and then pulling the bar off the ground but then also pushing my feet into the ground at the same time so the other thing I'm doing also is creating torque within my shoulders which is also going to help engage the lats and create that neutral spine and maintain that neutral spine and um, those are really the main things that I think about and the rest kind of falls in line and then of course just a big strong lockout at the top and maintaining as much tightness overall as possible not only for strength but also for just overall um, uh, avoidance of injury so anyways guys getting myself warmed up here I was working up to a top set of 365 for an AMRAP which basically is an acronym for as many reps as possible if you're not familiar with that so here's my last set of three um, 15 and here's my top set of 365. So after I was able to hit eight reps, which is awesome because that is three reps more than the five reps I was able to hit at the beginning of this phase. So that's a really good improvement there and shows progressive overload, making sure that I am hitting more reps than I ever have at that specific weight. And that's beltless too. All of these last, I believe, four or five weeks of phase one have been beltless, which is really awesome because that's definitely a PR for me. I don't believe I've even hit five reps um, so I believe the first the first week I hit a PR at five reps and then beat that uh, that same PR at eight reps um, at 365 beltless like I said conventional deadlift so anyways moved on to a suitcase carry here um, and just really focusing on core stability um, really great exercise that I've been utilizing that my coach has programmed in for me so um, so yeah so uh, really just wanted to talk about this and kind of give you guys some insight on what my kind of coaching looks like and the way I get programmed um, in terms of my lifts and that sort of thing. So anyways, guys, if you have any questions about this, let me know. But um, it has been really, really nice to not have to think and, and really do that sort of side of things when it comes to my own coaching. And like I preach to you guys about me and my coaching and how much it can benefit you accountability wise. That has been huge because I know that I am going to have someone kind of keeping me on track with things, making sure I'm hitting my goals. And if I'm not, 
making adjustments accordingly. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Make sure you check out my six-week challenge if you have not, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Thanks for listening.